Let's get started and talk about writing task two. And what I want to share with you today is what I call the rule of three. It's just a, a, a really simple principle that I've developed to help you get a higher score in IELTS writing. And uh, the reason I call it the rule of three is that three simple things apply to every part of writing task two. So what I'm going to show you is how this rule of three can apply to your, your whole essay as you, uh, as you uh, plan for your whole essay. It can apply to how you share your opinion and the, and the body of your essay and that you can apply this rule to each paragraph uh, specifically of your essay. So it's a, it's a great thing. And the reason that I have a picture of a stool here is because this rule of three applies to the structure of your essay. And, and when you're looking at the, uh, the requirements for a writing task two, one of the most important things is called coherence and cohesion. And this simply means the structure. And I like this analogy of a rule, uh, a stool, a three-legged stool, because one thing about this three-legged stool is it will always be solid. It will never wobble back and forth. And that's because it only has three legs. So it will never wobble, no matter where you put it, even if the ground or the floor is uneven, this stool uh, will never wobble. For example, if you have a table with four legs, if the ground is uneven or, or the floor isn't, uh, absolutely level, or if the tables, the, the legs on the table are not perfect, uh, that table will wobble. And if you've ever been in, in, into a restaurant and you're trying to eat on a table and it keeps moving back and forth or up and down, you know how frustrating that can be. So if you have more than three, three legs, it's going to, it's going to wobble. It's not going to be a solid structure. And the other thing, if you have less than three, fewer than three, like a ladder, for example, a ladder uh, cannot stand by itself because it only has two legs. You have to lean it up against something else. So a ladder is not solid by itself, but a three-legged stool is always solid. And, and this is the structure. This we can, I'm going to show you how we can apply this to writing task two, writing your task two essay and you will have a solid structure for your essay. So first of all, let's talk about the parts and how this applies to the parts of your essay. A good essay in writing task two is going to have three parts. It's going to have a clear introduction. You're going to have the body of your essay, which is where you explain your opinion or whether you agree or disagree whatever you're asked to do in the essay this will happen in the body of the essay and then you have your conclusion so a good essay always has clearly has these three parts secondly in the body of your essay you're going to have three paragraphs paragraph one paragraph two and paragraph three and what will happen uh, you can see that this means that your total essay is going to have five paragraphs. One paragraph for your introduction, three paragraphs in the body, and one paragraph for your conclusion. And the reason that this five-paragraph model is so effective is because it makes one thing very easy. A lot of times I get asked, how can I make sure I have 250 words? Because you have to write at least 250 words in your essay. And then you start to worry about counting words. And this is not something that you want to be doing on test day is worrying about having enough words. But if you have five paragraphs, the number of words will take care of themselves. You won't have to count words. And with five paragraphs, if you include everything that I'm going to show you today, that will not be something you have to worry about on test day. 
you will have your 250 words with no problem. So the rule of three applies to your essay. You have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. The rule of three applies to the body of your essay where you will have three paragraphs. And this is so important. It applies to each paragraph. Each paragraph of your essay is going to have three parts. When you're sharing your opinion, it's important to have a clear statement, a good reason, and a specific example. And the example is so important because in the instructions to your essay, you're specifically asked to give examples from your own life and your own experience. So I have here on, on the screen uh, uh, an essay prompt from a previous IELTS exam. And you have 40 minutes to write your essay. And here's the topic of your essay. Some people believe that violence on television and in computer games has a damaging effect on society. Others deny that these factors have any significant influence on people's behavior. What's your opinion? Write at least 250 words. And I've also, I've always mentioned in every part of the IELTS exam, in every lesson I teach, always pay attention to the instructions. And if you pay attention carefully to these instructions, you'll see that it says, give relevant examples from your own life and experience. So obviously this is very important and uh, you don't want to miss this. You know, one of the things that a lot of uh, candidates and test takers worry about is that they have to write an academic essay. Well, honestly, this uh, essay is not academic in the same way that you write essays in university or college or other situations because you're not citing other sources, you're not doing research. Your source of information is clearly shown to be from your own life and your own experience. And if you if you've seen my videos about vocabulary, and if you haven't, make sure you look on, on the YouTube channel and, and find my videos about vocabulary because your vocabulary that you use in the IELTS Writing Task 2 also comes from your own life, your own experience, your own uh, vocabulary. So you're writing from uh, your own experience, and this is, should help you understand that you can be successful in writing task two without a lot of academic knowledge and a lot of academic vocabulary. So let me show you uh, how this rule of three is going to specifically apply to the structure of your essay. It's when you begin to uh, write your essay and you know you have 40 minutes. It says it right at the top, you have 40 minutes to do this task. So what you want to do to make sure your structure is sound, your structure is solid, and that you do everything you need to do to have a good essay for writing task two, is you need to plan ahead. So out of that 40 minutes, I'm gonna suggest that you take 10 minutes to plan before you start writing. And maybe as you, as you have more practice and as you prepare and you're practicing, you'll be able to do this in less than 10 minutes. But if you spend 10 minutes preparing what you're going to write to make sure it has a very good structure, you will write a better essay and get a higher score in 30 minutes than you would in 40 minutes if you don't take uh, do this important step and take the time to prepare. So let me show you the best way to do this. And it's with a simple diagram. 
So when you go to write your uh, test day, whether you do the computer-based or whether you're doing the paper-based, you do have extra paper to plan your essay. And the first thing you want to do is simply draw this diagram on a sheet of paper because this is the best way to use the rule of three. You can see that you have three rows and you have three columns. And all you wanna do as you structure your essay is to fill in each box on this diagram. And I'm gonna show you specifically how to do that now. So let me just show you about uh, each, ro each row represents the three paragraphs in the body of your essay. Now you want to make sure you plan the body of your essay because this is where you share your point of view or share your opinion. So you don't want to even worry about the introduction, writing the introduction or writing the conclusion uh, you don't want to start writing the introduction before you know what's going to go in the body because the introduction is a preview of what's going to be in the body. So how can you write an introduction or start writing your essay until you know exactly what's going in to these three paragraphs? And according to the rule of three, each paragraph has three parts. And, and I've represented them here. First of all, you have a clear statement. So the S represents your statement. This is what you believe. This is the point that's the main point or topic of this paragraph. And then you're going to have a good reason for why you're saying that point. So that is represented by R. And then you have a specific example, and that's what E represents. So by the time, it, in this 10 minutes, by the time you finish the 10 minutes, each square on your diagram is going to be filled in so that each paragraph will have a statement, a reason, and an example. And you're going to know exactly what, uh, what you're going to write in your essay. So let me show you how this works. What I'm going to do uh, uh, right now is I'm going to write an essay in the next few minutes to show you how this simple structure can help you write a great essay and get the band score that you need. So let's just remind ourselves of what we're writing about. Some people believe that violence on television and in computer games has a damaging effect on society. Others deny that these factors have any significant influence on people's behavior. What is your opinion? So here's my opinion. So let's go back to our diagram. So in my opinion, I'm going to say there's three things that uh, my, in my opinion, I don't think the statement, I'll go back for a minute, the statement is true. I don't believe that violence on television and in computer games does have a damaging effect. That's just my opinion. I don't think it does. I don't think it does have any significant influence. Or if it does have an influence, I think it can be a good influence. Okay, that's my opinion. And the good thing about my opinion is that it's mine, okay? It comes from my own life and my own experience. And if you have a different opinion, that's okay. It comes from your own life and your own experience. And you're not going to be tested on whether you have a good opinion or not, whether your opinion is right or wrong. That's not what you're being tested on. You're being tested on your ability to express your opinion on uh, in English. Now, here's something that I just want to make really clear to you. My opinion comes from my own life and experience. Okay, it doesn't come, I don't have to back it up with research uh, or anything like that. It's my own life and experience. That's why it's so important 
to give relevant examples from where? Examples from your own life and experience. That's why examples are the most important part of your essay when it comes to giving your opinion. Do not neglect putting specific examples from your own life and experience in your essay. If you don't do that, you will not get the score you need. Okay, I see so many test takers and they ask me for opinions on their essay and they're missing this clear thing, relevant examples from your own life and experience. You cannot write this task to essay without these examples. Okay, so first of all, in my opinion, television does not cause violent behavior. I think it could be a safe outlet for, for the desire to be, to maybe act out violently. And I think television and even computer game, uh, video games can have a positive effect on somebody, okay? So that's gonna be my opinion. If you disagree, uh, that's okay, but this is my opinion based on my life and based on my experience, okay? It doesn't cause violent behavior. It can be a safe outlet and it can have a positive effect. So now I have to be able to share why I believe this. What are my reasons for this? So now I'm just gonna fill in the next column on my outline. And here's my reasons. I don't think it ca causes violent behavior because regardless of what you watch on TV, you can still choose your behavior. And as far as a safe outlet, I think watching violence and cartoons on TV and video games is actually a safer outlet because it's virtual. It's not real. So better to act out my violent tendencies in a video game or by watching TV than to do it in real life. Okay, that's my second reason. And the, th the third reason is I think that watching violence and, 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 and playing video games can actually have a positive effect because it can actually be educational and we can learn things about the, the repercussions of violent behavior by watching TV, or maybe uh, playing video games can even have a positive impact on our lives in some way. So now I know, I have my opinion, a clear statement for my opinion. I have good reasons for my opinion, but now the most important part I need to have specific examples from my own life and my own experience to back it up. So here they are. I'm going to use the example of watching cartoons, okay? Because cartoons don't lead to violent behavior. Their cartoons are so exaggerated and ridiculous. It's clear that it's not... Uh, it's not reality, okay? So I don't think it's going to cause uh, violent behavior. Secondly, as an example for my uh, safe outlet paragraph, I'm going to use a study that I read by James Johnson, okay? Now, let me tell you something right now. This study that I read by James Johnson is not a real study. I didn't read it, but I needed a specific example and I wanted to use from my own experience. So I, I'm putting in something that I read. It's not real, but it doesn't have to be real as long as it's a good example. Okay, so I'm putting it in as something that I read and that uh, it backs up my safe outlet opinion. And then for my third example, probably my best example for this essay, and I'm putting it in, uh, in, and I'm gonna talk about my own son, Kyle. And this is a 
uh, a true example. So now, as I look at this one, one diagram, I know exactly what I'm going to write in my essay. Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to write. And it didn't take me much more than 10 minutes to put it together, even as I explained it to you. And with practice, this is something that you can do to, to really make sure your essays are, are fulfilling the task that you need to do on the IELTS exam. And as you're practicing and preparing for the IELTS exam, you don't have to write an essay every day. But if you really want to, to practice and simulate what you're going to be doing on test day, maybe take five or 10 minutes a day and just put the diagram, the, the I call it the tic-tac-toe diagram, put it on, your, on a blank piece of paper, choose, a, choose an essay prompt and just do an outline. If you just did an outline every day, even without writing the essay, just get used to the idea and getting skilled at making good outlines, uh, then you can move on to, to writing the essays. I think because I think this is the most important part and maybe the most important 10 minutes that you can spend on test day to make sure you get the score you need. Uh, on, on the writing section and on the IELTS exam. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this outline and I'm going to write my essay for writing task two. So now I can write my introduction because I know what's going to be in my essay. You don't want to write an introduction first and then if you write your introduction first without planning, then you have to make three paragraphs in the body fit your in one paragraph, your introduction. But now that I know exactly what's in the body of my essay, it's very easy to write my introduction because I only have to put three things. Believe it or not, the rule of three applies to my introduction as well. This rule of three applies to everything when it comes to writing task two. So my introduction is going to have three parts. It's going to have the topic of my essay. I'm going to rephrase the question that I'm, that I'm talking about. And I'm going to say what my opinion is that I'm going to share in my essay. So that's all I've done here. And in this case, I've decided to start with a question. Um, it's not a bad idea to start your essay with a question because that shows that that's the question you're going to answer as you give your opinion in the essay. Does violence on television and computer games really have a negative impact on society? That's the topic of the essay. Some say it has a damaging effect on society while others claim it has no effect at all. So I rephrased the prompt. And then I give my opinion. I believe it does not. Very, very to the point, very simple sentence. That's my opinion. I believe it does not. It may have a positive influence in some cases. So that's what I'm going to show in my essay. So it's very easy to write your introduction once you know what's going to be in your essay. And now I write my essay. And if we went back to my, my outline, this is, S, this is paragraph number one. Remember that I said, I don't think it causes violent behavior. And the reason is because we can choose our behavior. And then I'm using the example of cartoons. So I just put it in red, blue, and green in this case, so that it's very easy for you to see. And this is the first paragraph in the body of my essay. One argument would state that experience violence on TV and in video games desensitizes people to violence and causes them to see aggressive behavior as normal. That's my opinion. And, um, but my opinion, I'm saying that I doubt that to be true because 
Here's the reason. Any reasonable person can choose to act humanely regardless of what they view on TV or in video games. And then I give a very specific example. For example, cartoon violence seen in, in shows like Family Guy. I don't know if you watch that. Unfortunately, I do watch it. It's a ridiculous cartoon that has violence in it. And it's so ridiculous. Uh, it won't cause people to copy that kind of behavior. So you can see how simple it was to, uh, to structure my, my essay. I'm sorry if the, the printing is a little small, but just for the purposes of this, I want you to just see that clearly I have three parts to that paragraph. Now, now remember, and this is so important, I only have three parts, okay? I don't have four parts. It doesn't, it doesn't help your essay to give two reasons in one paragraph or to give two examples in one paragraph. That actually will hurt your essay. You only want one statement, one reason, and one example in each paragraph. So don't use two examples in one paragraph. Don't use two reasons. Only one topic, one statement, one reason, and one example. And then I come to the next paragraph, my second one, where I talk about it could be a safe outlet for expressing aggression. Viewers and gamers can fight in virtual reality instead of the, re the real world. And then I used an example that video games and violence on TV in this study that um, children are impacted more by family life and upbringing than violence on TV or in games. So again, you can see I only have one statement, one reason, and one example. And then my last paragraph. And in the last paragraph, the most of the paragraph is made up by uh, the example, which is, which is okay because the example is the strongest part. It's something that I could talk about because it really is a true story about my son, Kyle, who I'm very proud of, by the way. Um, and he, was, he played a lot of video games when he was young and it did have a good impact on his life. Um, he has a great job as a, as a crane operator and he developed the ability to operate the controls for the crane by using the game, or game controllers as a kid playing so many video games. And now he's taken that skill that he developed playing video games and he plays, he has a great job operating a crane in a, on a construction site. But the key, the key thing here is I only have three parts to this paragraph. I have a statement, a reason, and I have my example. And then finally, I come to my conclusion. And now I can wrap up my essay very neatly and very easily and clearly by just expressing my opinion again. There's no connection between video games and violence on TV and the damage in society. I summarized what I said in the body again. I rephrased what I put in the body and mentioned the topic of the essay again. So this uh, brings it all together. And I have an essay where I'm going to get a good band score. And if you were to go back through this video again and to look and take and pause the video and, and read, read the slides, I guarantee you, you're not going to find any fancy words. You're not going to find any academic vocabulary. You're going to find uh, a clear statement. You're going to find a good example. You're going to find a good reason. And it's going to be in language that you that you have no problem understanding probably language that many of you could use very easily yourself but the key thing is is that rule of three three parts to my essay 
three parts to the body of the paragraph and three parts to every paragraph. And if you apply this, you will get a higher band score in writing task two and come a lot closer to getting the score you need on the IELTS exam and then going on to two further things. Well, I hope that you found this helpful. I want to wish you all the best and success uh, on the IELTS exam.